Boy, the sun's around the corner and I'm still working. We're going to try this and see what happens now. ladder right in the way. I'll see if I can't move my ladder over ah, over here. Not at a very good angle but I'm alright. Another good reason to get a nice sturdy strong ladder such as my orange fiberglass ladder. Ah. Oh. Where's that last? Okay. I don't see anything. Let's just see. If it'll snap off. Come on. See if I pry too much that way, it might loosen up all the stuck up everywhere. That's the last thing I want. I didn't score it deep enough in certain areas, but I was having, you could see the difficulty with using the, the, uh, the sawzall. Maybe I can shave this down half and then maybe it will snap off. This is coming off because it's a little bit wet, not, not too bad. You're coming off if it's the last thing I do. why I cut this down to six inches in case my plywood is lifted up just a hair I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna fit fine got some wires right here I can cut off I don't like little surprises later on You're kidding me or what have you Just a little bit more. Take my sheetrock knife. Okay. That looks, that looks pretty bueno. I'm 
We got about six inches there. Six, right out six, six and an eighth, six. Six and an eighth to the bottom, or the top of this and the bottom of the actual plywood. So I know I got plenty of room for my two by six now. Okay, there's one more thing I need to check, and I want you to check with me before I call it a day. Might be important. Whew, I'm glad it's, I'm almost done. Now see, I was telling you I thought this was a 2x12 or 2x10 or something like that. When I first looked at it, it was hard to tell. It looks like it's plywood based and it's probably one of those OSB uh, TJIs, maybe on edge or they might have some blocks for it. Because see, right here there was some string in it. See that? And it went across and I had to cut it out. And I could see it had layers. It's got layers of plywood in there. Okay? And I had to actually dig this part out because it was right here at the corner. And that had a little bit of dry rot on there. And it came out pretty easy. And see now... It feels pretty good. I'm not replacing that, by the way, but the question I was having was, do I, do I have to try to cut this out? Because it probably stops right in here. Do I have to cut that out in here and try to put a block in there? This is set on top of a wall, two by six wall that goes from here on down, it's got two top plates on it, just like that wall. See the two, those are two two by sixes flat. And the, and the uh, walls, studs are every 16 inches. And that's what we have over here. The TJIs go boom, 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 across, all the way across over that way. And this is their side ledger but it looks to be more than three quarters. I thought it might be just three quarters of an inch thick. And I can't go any further than that. I've already dug out maybe three eighths, at least three eighths of an inch. And so I am making the decision that this board is okay. It's not spanning anything. It's on top of a wall, all right? And so when I nail that other a two by six flat ways up there. This is all discoloration. It's okay. It's okay. And I even checked over there. And I even poked along in there. Okay. But when I nail that up there, I'm probably what I'm probably going to do is nail it first, and then, you know, spot nail it with uh, maybe three nails. Three or four nails and then I'll probably go back and screw it on with with screws every so often because the screws will hold tight onto this plywood better than just nails because all of this when I when I nail this on here all of the weight from here going across is all well half of the weight is going to be off of this section here. The other half of the weight is going to be off of that runner. So half of this weight from the middle of this over this way is going to be held by this. Okay? And I don't think, you know, if I put nails in here, I don't I don't think I would have any issues with the nails loosening up in this plywood or anything, but I'm not going to take any chances. What I'll probably end up doing, I could put liquid nails, it's a construction adhesive, in which that's what I'm going to do. I'll put that on the back of the 2x6 or spooge it on here, boo 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 and then put the 2x6 up there when I nail that, I could nail that with six nails and that thing will be so strong 
uh, once the liquid nails dries, it'll just bond to this and it will never come off. This, would, this plywood would have to rip off before that gets loose. I'm going to use liquid nails, but I'm also going to use some screws. Okay, I'll probably use three inch screws and I'll pre-drill them through the 2x6 and then I'll, I'll run it in this way a little bit and then I'll put screws in there and screw it with nails, a few nails, mainly screws, and I'm going to put some liquid nails in there. And then from here, this is, you know, once I have the liquid nails in there, that's going to bond and it's just going to bypass this. I mean, I could put, I could put something in there as a filler, but what, whatever for. It's not really beneficial for anything. I mean, I could put some fix-all in there or some, uh, some rock-hard wood putty, uh, rock-hard uh, putty. It's called Durham's Rock Hard. That stuff works so good for interior stuff. This is exterior, but it's underneath the deck, so I could, I could pack that with Rock Hard material and let that dry first, which maybe I will. And, um, and then I'll get ready to attach this. So I just wanted to, to uh, show you. And I'm, I'm kind of glad it was a little dry rotted, only so that I could tell that, oh man, this is in fact plywood. Because see right here, it doesn't look like plywood, does it? It just looked like the side of a 2x6. Of a, uh, okay. Now there's some writing, but I can't see all the writing. It says Boise, Cascade, White, City, upside down, and then the other writing's over here. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, that's all I got for today. Hope you learned something. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with even more videos.